You should actually consider it lucky that you had a low charge when I showed up here today. Because <laughs> your friends didn't have it nearly as easy. I, I have no problem showing mercy to a robot. Oh, come on, guys. You could have just kept charging. Oh, my God. He has a USB slot for an anus. <laughs> That's good robot design. What's up guys, welcome back to Paint the Town Red, the only game where everyone is truly treated equally. Whether you be a rich businessman, or a poor thought, or a face-eating SCP from another dimension, or maybe just a raw T-bone steak. It doesn't matter, because at the end of the day, we're all just meat waiting to get tenderized. <laughs> I feel the need to point out that this isn't a segue from the intro, okay? This isn't court-appointed therapy. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably think that because I keep opening videos by hitting strangers in the face with my meat. But no, this is a level called Nyctophobia 2 New Fears. Some of you guys might remember that I once played a level called Nyctophobia, being the fear of the dark, but what these new fears are, uh, I'm not really sure. I think the story is that I just rolled up in my brand new 2020 one Tesla shit brick, and then I gotta take the money that I store on my hood, rather than in my wallet, because there's just so friggin' much of it, and then spend it on medication so that I feel better. Except, this place seems weird, right? It, it looks like the Walmart of therapy. <laughs> Can't quite put my finger on it, but something is definitely off and unattended. There's nobody here. Actually, that makes sense. It's the middle of the night. What was I thinking coming here in the first place? Please tell me I'm not the only one who's seeing things pop in and out of the darkness right now. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we should try to get those pills. Like, even if it's a waste of time and I'm not going to get any service because whoever was working here seems to have left in a hurry and barricaded the employee's room from the outside. That's... Weird. Almost as weird as a guy who's afraid of the dark going somewhere at night. What are the chances it was the mop that was smoking before I showed up and I'm just reading into things too much? <laughs> like, there has to be something here that I'm missing, right? I don't suppose there are any employees on the other side of this door that can hear me right now. Like, I may not have a blue key, but I do have a green brick that I'm willing to exchange for a pill or two that'll stop me from seeing monsters at night. <laughs> I don't think that's asking too much from a therapist. Like, that is what you guys have on the sign outside. You don't have a bell for service. You do have a key in your paperwork, though. Do you think there are any corpses behind the counter? No? Okay. Actually, I think I'm gonna take you with me. Yeah, that seems like a good idea right about now. Part of me wants to go poke that thing that I saw in the darkness with this axe, but the smarter part of me wants to barricade the front door like they did with this one. I don't suppose I could get these boxes moving, could I? Like, if I get them over there. Oh, I need a red key as well. Uh, I don't know where I would find that unless it's in here. <laughs> I don't suppose, um... Oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry about that. I thought that... You were an employee, but you're not. Okay, that's the monster. That, that'll that be the darkness monster. Not cool. Not cool at all. Oh, I hate it. I mean, I just kind of instinctively kicked through the door. It's a good thing there was an SCP on the other side. It, it, not some teenager just having a smoke break. Ew. All right. Well, I, I suppose... The lights were supposed to go out. I was supposed to walk in and the lights would go out and make it spooky, but instead I made it stupid. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. So what are you doing? Are you just like whiffing a fart or something? All right, see you later. Hey, there's a red key. Don't mind if I do. What did I just see near my nuts? It was definitely something. Oh, I'm guessing that's my therapist. Yeah, that, that would be my therapist. <laughs> All right, well, crap, I, I I think I dealt with the tentacles, right? I'm gonna pucker my butthole just to be safe, but <laughs> let's see if there's anything in here. Well, there's definitely something in here. Is that health? Oh, I could use health. That would definitely be helpful. Yeah, that's my medicine, perhaps. Oh, it's the exit. 
Weird. There's supposed to be one more person, isn't there? It's so dark. No, I I'm definitely missing something. Do you think he's still alive? No, probably not. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I wasn't missing anything. Like, I, I found a button in the safe which seems to have sent up some searchlights. <laughs> Not quite what I was hoping for, but yeah, you know what, this is fine. I, I, I got my medication, I got over my fears, right? I, I still can't figure out how to operate doors. Oh my Christ. <laughs> oh, what the hell? We, that's, we, Fluffles and I, we, what just happened? I, th I think I just jumped through the roof. I'm on the I'm on the roof. I'm on the ceiling. I jumped on top of the door. It punctured me in, and now I can see myself. I am so confused right now. <laughs> this is clearly not supposed to happen. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'll, I'll take it. Hey, me and Fluffles. Damn, the darkness is freaky. Got him. Got him, boys. Hold on, there's an invisible wall here. Screw it, Fluffles gets to live for once. <laughs> I can't believe that I show up in so many of these levels. It just blows my mind. The next level that caught my eye is simply called Jump. And I think the idea is that it's supposed to be kind of like a hardcore parkour obstacle course. That being said, I'm still gonna take a gun because it seems like everywhere I go, I have to pick a fight. I might as well bring a gun to a robot fight. Oh, uh, this might actually be more like a death run. I can put the death in death run. <laughs> I have absolutely no problem shooting robots in the head. You should actually consider it lucky that you had a low charge when I showed up here today. <laughs> Cause your friends didn't have it nearly as easy. I, I have no problem showing mercy to a robot. Oh, come on guys. You could have just kept Charging, oh my god, he has a USB slot for an anus. <laughs> That's good robot design. I may be willing to talk things out with the robots, but I really doubt I'm gonna be able to negotiate with the flamethrowers. And I'm not gonna screw around with you guys either because I've already taken one mulligan. The bots hurt me so much that I didn't want to continue with that much health. Therefore, I restarted, and now we're nice and fresh on our way to avoiding fire and spikes. Yeah, I'm not interested in being a s'more. Thank you guys very much. Excuse me. Pardon me. Ooh. This is, uh, different. It's a tripwire. And you don't want to come over here and trip it. Smart man. <laughs> it should be able to clear this, right? I can just, uh, yeah, easy. Ow, my butthole. What's the point of a trip wire if the stuff gets tripped regardless? It also doesn't help that the level is so big and shiny and complicated that it kind of lags. I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, What's the deal here? No weapons, huh? Does it mean any kind of weapon? Or, or just swords and shocky sticks? Ooh, I gotta make a decision here. How about this? We shoot you, that's fine. And then I just uh, toss that over there. Weapon went through, but now you don't wanna hurt me? <laughs> you guys think you're so clever with your big robot brains, but no, no, mine may be as smooth as an egg, but it's... Still not interested in getting shish kebobbed. Uh, oh, just need a little patience. <laughs> All right then, we gotta get you out of the way and... Oh, I don't think I wanna go over there, do I? Probably not. This doesn't look like the kind of thing that interests me. I, I, I'm just thinking like the risk versus reward. You guys got real loud feet. <laughs> I'm just saying, you, you probably should install, well, Probably a new butthole first, and then quiet shoes. Like, I, I don't care about the energy, I don't care about a sword. I'm, I'm not gonna risk it. Plus, all the platforms are coming towards me, so this seems really difficult. <laughs> We're just gonna go over here and carry on our merry way. I probably don't need that, right? I'm gonna hope I can make this jump without whatever the energy upgrade was, but I'm assuming that I can't. Oh, I can, and that is really clever. I've never seen something like that in Paint the Town Red before. Try it again. Ooh, ooh, and, uh, goods, great, okay. 
<laughs> and then a little something like this, and who? Oh, we're fine. Yeah, definitely did not want to fall down there. And no, 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 no. Clear the runway. I had a limited number of bullets. I regret wasting them now and kind of want to go back for that sword. You're dead, right? Assume the frowny face and the low battery and the brain exposure probably means so. I keep thinking he's going to get back up, but no, we're probably fine. Oh, we're onto the red course. Red? Wait, what just happened to my brain? I think paint the town red as well as all of the robot goo has uh, confused me, to say the least. Shocky stick? Shocky stick. A little bit of shocky stick. The yellow room is, well, going to be red soon in all reality. It feels like I'm missing something here because this room is just one giant donut. There's nothing really happening here except for this, which I can walk through. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's what it wanted from me. No, no time to recharge. Oh, you're already fully charged. Well, now you can be overcharged. I can't get over their butts, man. Like, I really don't try to think about the enemy's bum holes, but at the same time, when they're unique, then how can you not? I don't suppose I could just kind of... No, no, of course not. That'd be absurd, clearly. We've got to get through this obstacle course, right? Uh, I'm gonna take the gun over the taser. Yeah, that's for sure. I'm sure tasers are very useful against robots, but your bullets seem to be doing pretty good on their own as well. That's what happens when you got squishy insides. Bullets have a type advantage. Stop getting back up. No, no, you guys, you guys aren't allowed to get back up. That, that wasn't how this works. Okay, these ones are different. These ones have been upgraded. I honestly don't want to know what it's like to get a firmware update through your sphincter or to learn through your hole. It, it's just weird to think about. I'm just going to hope that we're coming to the end here. Oh, great. An even bigger robot butthole. Let's uh, kick you into this. Could you maybe test this out for me real quick? I've never seen anything like that before and it's incredibly terrifying. I just want you to go in. Just, just give it a quick... Test, okay. Do I, I run for it? I'm just gonna run for it. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Somebody spent a lot of time making a very interesting level. Feeling better? Okay. Open the next doors and... What now, elevator? Oh, this looks fishy. <laughs> cute, very cute. Oh, that's the level. That's what I just went through, and it's why that yellow room was just a, a big donut. <laughs> that is so incredibly clever. Holy crap, all right, uh, <laughs> don't like that. Do not like this. <laughs> not even a little bit. Fortunately, I am the hardcore Parkour master. Oh, no, am I on? I'm on, I got him, I got him. He's dead, screw you, screw, screw all of you. Oh. Did I win? I don't think I won yet. I was really hoping I had won. Ah, oh, crap. No, you guys can just go ahead and uh, try to follow me through this. I'd like to see it. Oh, careful, careful. Hot potato, hot potato, hottest of potatoes, hottest of hot potatoes. No, <laughs> I didn't take a single point of damage there. I am a hardcore parkour god. That has to be the end, right? How could there be even more of this level? Hold up a second. Are those traps? Right, th those those are spikes. Those are definitely spikes. Um, um, um. Am I okay? I think I'm okay. Oh, it was all a game show. <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh no, screw this! You contestants could just suck a fart out my ass! I, I don't even... Are you cool with that? Alright, maybe I'll calm down. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. It was a pleasure being a contestant. Did I win? Was it money? Ow, okay. Oh, this one's a little bit salty. That's fine. Understandable. I, uh, press the button and I win my money! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! This was definitely one of the best levels I have ever played. Um, guys, I thought that was the exit, but it's not. There's, there's a ghost thing. Is this the exit? I'm, I'll take this one. Thank you. 
Wow. Hands down, one of the best levels I've ever seen in this game. So creative on so many levels. Just <laughs> amazing. Our final level for today is called Winter Base Aftermath. And again, I think I played a couple of levels called Winter Base. They were very much like the movie The Thing. You know, a bunch of scientists stuck in the Arctic, secluded from civilization, cut off from the world. And uh, I mean, my goal is going to be to find myself a nice snow bunny and cuddle up with her. It's not gonna be you, however, because you smell like an ashtray and your face looks like a warning catcher's mitt. If you need me to come up with other creative ways of insulting your face, I'll be outside. Oh, we're even growing our own food here. That's clever. Yeah, I suppose that would be useful rather than flying stuff in all the time. We got a little cafeteria here. Not too bad. I mean, there does seem to be a significant problem with the ratio. It's an absolute sausage party in here, but I'm sure we'll find somebody somewhere else. How about we try this room? Is this the ladies' bathroom? Is there a sign? I'm not really sure. How do you look? Hey, listen, I know I just crouched on the sink like some kind of weird spider monkey, but I don't suppose I could interest you in this apple. You might not be a teacher, but you can hit me with a ruler if you ask nicely. Maybe I'll just stop talking to women and men and just in general. <laughs> Fluffles, are you in here? Lock the door, huh? That's unlike Fluffles. We don't keep secrets from one another. Who would lock a door when they're pooping? It doesn't make any sense. It makes almost as much sense as making the walls out of chocolate. <laughs> I mean, I guess up here, it, it would never melt, so you gotta save money somehow. Is there anybody out here? Bit of a leak, huh? Yeah, that's definitely a problem. I mean, I'm not gonna do any work around here, so don't hold your breath. I'm just gonna keep looking around. Is a red light bad? I feel like a red light is probably bad. Um, they don't work here, do they? Ah, oh, crap. All right, well, uh, I'm just gonna leave the apple behind. <laughs> Take this and uh, see if I can help out my friends. Okay, no, it's hammer time. Screw the knife. <gasps> Ow! What just instantly killed me? Was it the cold? Well, I missed this the last time. I'm sure it'll be somewhat helpful. Only three of them come running in, right? But yet, I open this door and suddenly it's World War III. Oh, it was you that instantly killed me. Some kind of Sam Squatch. Oh no, not interested. Ow, holy crap. Okay, you guys take it on. You guys fight it. I'll just be over here warming up a little bit. Would anybody like to join me? Um, Listen, I was hoping to get sweaty with someone, but not smushy. Oh crap, oh crap. No, don't, don't you dare. Don't you even think about it. Crap, crap, I got a hammer. Oh, I got hammer time. Hammer time. Hammer time. Oh no, you can't hammer time me. That's not how this works. You still alive? Didn't think so. Sledgehammer up the ear. That'll get the job done. These people hurt. Uh, I should help my friend, shouldn't I? Meant to poke, not swing through them. All right, that, that's my bad. I'll, I'll, I'll accept responsibility for that one. Well, there were monsters, so that, that's not good, right? <laughs> but imagine if I go outside, there's just gonna be more of them. That's a lot of enemies that seem frozen. Frozen in time or frozen in temperature? Frozen in time, okay, great. It, it's a lot faster for them to thaw out that way. I mean, there's like 200 people on this base waiting to kick my ass, and they only have to tickle me for me to fall over. Oh, friends, friends, friends? No, not friends, not friends. Are you gonna be kidding me? There were so many friendlies outside. <laughs> no, oh, wait, 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 Katana. Katana, yeah, I studied the way of the blaze. <laughs> Stay back. Stay back, I wanted to run to safety. Why wouldn't you just let me run to safety? I can't believe I'm surviving this right now. Wow. How do I get out of here? Button? Okay. Button. Button has a, a secret door. Okay. Uh. Huh. You guys got a choir? That's weird. I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to get a little bit of revenge. 
Hey, I feel good. <laughs> I swear I'm in a music video. What is going on out here? This looks like a store. What are you, what are you just purchasing something? Don't get the hell out of here. I just fought for my life and everyone is hanging out. Um, I'm confused. There is no way somebody in the Arctic is wearing a sombrero. What is going on here? Was this all like some kind of experiment? Oh my Jesus. <laughs> well, that's terrifying. As is this, uh... Okay then, that's, that's a... Fun game for everyone, I suppose. <laughs> what is going on? I, 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 I don't know. Maybe I died. Maybe I it just it got hit in the head too hard. Back it up. Yeah, you know what? If I died and I went to heaven, I'm perfectly fine with you coming with me. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I ran around a track. This is actually an amusement ride. What, like a proof of concept? Are we working on our own strange Arctic Disneyland? Oh my god, that's exactly what this is. That That's 100% what this is, right? There's, there's rides, we've got a bunch of carnival games, people could shoot zombies, there was a cafeteria. Okay, so I, I just killed a bunch of park workers. Whoops, my bad. Yeah, nobody cares. Nobody cares in the slightest. I don't need to apologize. Who am I kidding? So when I walk towards the light, am I gonna die or am I going to go to the parking lot? I think they tried to kill me. I'm not 100% sure how I'm alive right now, but <laughs> you're not gonna take me that out easily. No, 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 I don't think so. I want to leave. And there you have it. All right, but you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And for all the years that I've been playing this game, I'm still amazed that people are still making stuff that's completely different. And not even just levels and scenarios, but like proof of concept stuff, you know, like the curse, like the firing range, like the stuff that we saw in Nyctophobia, and like the stuff we saw in Jump. All of these levels were all incredibly different and a lot of stuff that I've never seen before. And if you guys wanna see more stuff like this on the channel, then as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to plug a USB into a robot sphincter again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.